space coconut. <laughs> okay. Well, you know what's going to happen at the end of this video. So, good job. Thank you. Appreciate it. I knew this was going to happen, but I mean, like a 50%, like, well, a little under 50%, whatever. As I'm looking at this, we got 587 views and 216 likes, three dislikes. I don't care about the dislikes. That's cool. The 216. Okay, well, that's not 120, but I guess it'll do. <laughs> so, as promised, there will be a survivor uh, a survivor match at the end of this. I'm going to play today. Um, I'm not sure if you saw the, the clip from the clown video um, at the... Uh, at the end of yesterday's video, but uh, I'm not going to put that video in here because it's not very good. It's not really interesting. So we're going to I'm going to record some <sighs> hopefully some good matches today, both killer and survivor, and we'll see how that goes. Um, so that's at the end. What I did want to point out was that from now on, if the if the view time for today's video and e every video after this goes over a certain percentage, um, as of yesterday's video, the deal is 67% of watch time. If you guys watch the discussion and the survivor gameplay, or at least part of each of them, at least, you know, that much of the video, the average time will go up. So if that average watch time goes up and reaches a certain threshold, I'll plop in a bonus survivor video. It's a little harder to do, but uh, I figure it's fair. So. I mean, I'm not going to make content if you guys aren't going to watch it. So that's that. So in order for you to know that there is a survivor match in um, our discussion, I'm not going to talk about it at the beginning of the video like I am now. I'm not going to do this, but there's just going to be a symbol in the thumbnail or maybe at the beginning of the of the uh, of the discussion. Um, yeah, during that flare in the beginning will have the little sur survivor circle symbol thing, the gears ball, whatever you want to call that. And that'll tell you that there is a bonus survivor video at the end, as if you couldn't tell by the length of the video. So just letting you know, for future reference, I'll be watching the watch time. If it's if it's over 67%, at least if it's more than half, I'll throw in an extra video because I know you guys are watching. So with that out of the way, let's talk about Carl. So one of the interesting things about the entity is that the devs have said that he can pull people from any time and, you know, plop them into into the fog. At the time of his release, the devs said that uh, Carl couldn't be a survivor because the ghost killed him before the entity could take him. But the entity can take somebody from any time. So why couldn't he take Carl uh, at the moment before his death, before he actually died? You know, maybe... I don't know, any number of things, right? That's my assumption. We don't know if Rin's body was left behind after her father cut her to pieces. All we know is that she's a spirit right now, which means she doesn't, she shouldn't really have a physical body, and that the entity took her just as she died. Now, the reason why I say that Carl is a killer is a couple of reasons. The most important is that survivors are never killed. Survivors have never gone through, um, you know, a traumatic experience. Every survivor in the game so far has been, has vanished, has disappeared without a, tra without a trace. They weren't kidnapped. There was no violence involved. They weren't murdered or killed. Actually, as I was, as I finished recording this and was editing it, I forgot about Bill. Bill died in the events of Left for Dead. I forget one of them. He died turning on a generator to save the rest of the team while he was killed by zombies. But he was dead. His body was there, lifeless. And in the trailer, his hand twitched and he woke up in the fog. So yes, I'm wrong about none of the none of the survivors um, dying to a traumatic event, but it's also true that uh, the entity took somebody after they died. Okay, so if he was, we've never had a killer who interacted with another killer before they were taken by the fog, so what kind of killer would Carl be and why would he be a killer? Carl's a cashier. Any of us who've been in retail have dealt with customers. 
any of us would know who don't want to be in retail. I mean, if you want to be in retail, you're probably a manager, you're probably a store owner, you know, you're you're higher up, but you're not in you're not the cashier. Anybody who's a cashier might not really want to be there. So, we can say that Carl might not feel very good about his position in life. Maybe he feels like a failure. Maybe he he feels like he hasn't accomplished anything in his life. There's going to be a little bit of envy there, right? He lives in the same town, well, supposedly as this, as the murderer. The murderer has been, uh, the ghost has been, you know, in the newspaper. So Carl at least knows about the murders and things. And he sees this person. Maybe a, part, a deep, dark part of him is envious that this person is accomplishing something. He's made a name for himself, right? So Carl, in that moment when he sees the ghost and he knows he's going to die, they say that your life flashes before your eyes. How much regret and anger do you think Carl would feel and go through his would go through his mind? In, the, in his final few seconds as he sees this person with the knife in front of him and it's going straight into him. I would imagine that in that moment, there would be a lot of resentment towards his life. And Carl would want to... I imagine that Carl would regret not doing something more with his life, not being famous in some way, not making an impact or, or um, making a difference in his community and in this moment in this rage this anger this envy if the entity could take him and make him a deal now the interesting thing about this is that McCarl's just a regular guy what would a regular guy want to do if if he were to if he were to become a murderer right what would Carl become what would be what would become of Carl what would he do and whenever somebody does something like this, whenever somebody reaches this point, they copycat. So I would, I, I, this will not happen. But what if Carl was the killer who wishes he was all of the other killers? What if you selected Carl as your killer and he enters the fog, he enters the map with the powers of another killer? You don't know which killer it's going to be. You don't know... You don't know anything. Any add-ons that Carl would have could affect the pallets. They could affect um, the survivors in some way or affect maybe some cooldowns. We don't know because every killer's power is different. But every every killer's power shares something, right? There's something that, that could be similar between all of the killer's powers that Carl's add-ons could affect. And so you enter the fog. Maybe you go into Rotten Fields and Carl's got a chainsaw. Maybe you enter the map, and he can, in, and all of a sudden he can use Amanda's map, uh, uh, masks, the, the reverse bear traps. Maybe he can ambush. Maybe he borrowed her knife. Maybe Carl can become the killer, depending on the map you're on. And this way, you know, the survivors aren't going to know for sure which killer you are. But if you're Carl, neither will you, because Carl is a copycat, a copycat killer. I had no idea what his perks and stuff would be, but and people are, you know, dead set on having him as a survivor, but I don't know. I think Carl would be a pretty interesting killer by himself. And so another thing that I saw on the forums today that kind of... I've been wanting to talk about this for a long time. I don't like add-ons. And I think it sucks that some killers rely on add-ons to be good and that the devs deliberately make those add-ons rare and hard to find so you can't always play at your best you know and you're at, at at the mercy of rng depending on what you get and so what if instead of randomly finding add-ons on the blood web what if we used our blood points and maybe survivors can, could have a separate currency maybe campfire ash you know to purchase the add-ons they want to use in a, in, in the in the current match they can, you know, use the add-ons, but purchase them at the time. Maybe they have a, maybe we have a, uh, you know, we have the selection of all of the add-ons. None of them can be consumed per se, but they're all there, like a vending machine. Yeah, why can't we have an add-on vending machine? You select which add-ons you want to use. Maybe everybody will use the beads. 
who knows <laughs> for the spirit so i mean i know that it would be bad in some cases but i mean here's here's kind of my reasoning aside from being able to play killers you know at their peak power you guys know i'm a hag main and sometimes you see me not using add-ons it's not because i don't have any add-ons but it's because if i i don't put any more blood points into my killers except to get the new perks on them so a new killer a new killer gets released i pump that killer up to 40 and then i get all of my other maxed out characters um i get, i unlock the new perks on those characters and i leave it alone but i don't put that much more blood points into them because after i max out those characters the blood points go into the new killer to get them at prestige 3 level 50. so i end up having few um, of the good add-ons on many of my killers so like trapper i have a lot of them on huntress spirit you know that the ones that i was smarter with but like for wraith i really don't have many except for his thing actually i do have some good ones on wraith trapper is the one who's suffering the most luckily for me hag's best add-ons are like green yellow and brown but but the issue is that i can't purchase i can't i can purchase more add-ons by going through the hag's blood web but i prefer to spend those blood points on the new killers and maxing out those those killers and you know doing my best to max out my killers i'm not doing it for add-ons maybe i'm a fringe case maybe you guys you know do it another way or i'm making this you know more difficult on myself than i should be but what if you know that that would be you know my reasoning for this is is so i don't have to worry about spending all of this currency on a killer you know for personal reasons when i can use a different currency or a similar currency or the same currency to activate the add-ons on my favorite killer without having to worry about whether i have enough of those add-ons or not i suppose it's a balanced choice and you know i can understand why it would be there but i guess it's just a personal thing that i wish that i wish i didn't have to worry about that add-ons you know i didn't have to worry about running out of add-ons for trapper in order to you know play well with him because unfortunately his add-ons in my opinion kind of make him i mean i'm not as good with trapper as some other people who play as him regularly but it's I need to learn his trap placement, but that's kind of another thing, right? I don't know. Maybe this one's just whining, but I would like to see an add-on vending machine where we can we can load up our killer and we're saying, I want to use this add-on, this add-on, then this add-on, and then the game subtracts the uh, an appropriate number of blood points from my total pool to pay for those add-ons for the current match. I'd like that. I suppose that's long enough. I mean, I'm... <clears throat> not really talking about anything hard hitting today but um i'm gonna take a look uh, some people wanted that uh, survey video up so i'm gonna go ahead and, and plop that up later tonight i think i'm not sure when it'll be up i think i'm gonna edit it a little bit to make it a little more interesting because i mean it's <laughs> it's pretty it's not that great um but i mean it's there if you want to be interested in that if you want to be it's there if you want it to be i'll put it up we'll do something else with it so now that that's over you know what's next i haven't decided if i'm gonna add audio to it or if it's just gonna be the gameplay um because i don't really talk that much especially when i'm playing survivor because i can't <laughs> i'm not used to it yet i don't know i have no idea what i'm doing right now let me know what you think about carl and the add-ons thing they're just things that were popping up and I've wanted to talk about them for a while so I'm glad I finally did. Let me know what you think about this setup and how I can make it better. Um, it's not going to be you know super high quality or anything and uh, I would like it to be but uh, I mean you guys have proven that you you love me you really love me <laughs> so I'm going to keep doing this I'm going to keep doing better I'm going to try new things and I'm going to you know, I want to make this better for us. So thank you for giving me the ideas, for having the chat, for having the discussion, having the criticisms also. I mean, people who disagree with what I'm saying, it's important too. So with all of that out of the way, I'm going to play some matches, I'll put them up, and I'll think about what we're going to talk about tomorrow. 
In the meantime, I'll see you in the fog. Lampkin Lane. Okay. May as well start. Stuck. Woo. One hit. Um. All right, so moving on. Oh, I just hit somebody. Let's go for that rescue, shall we? Well, she's downed. What am I doing? Oh. <laughs> oh. Both of them get up. Okay. Pick one. Pick one. You yeah, yes. There you go. So you don't want to pick me up when? Okay. He had a chance to get another person off. That was not smart whatsoever. And you're running away. Yeah, he sees you, just so you know. Okay. This isn't a safe place. He left her down. He doesn't have nurses. It's close by though.
Oops. <laughs> Seriously? That was a wrong play. Well, that works, yay. <laughs> We're spending too much time on this side and, and only one gen has gotten finished. So you can go and rescue her. I'm going to do a gen. Yeah. Uh, I guess one inside. I forgot how many you've gotten. Okay. She's dead. Okay. Two gens. <clears throat> well. Wow, what are you going to do? Did you pick her up? Are you dead on hook? Are you gonna camp? Oh, hi. And she's dead on hook. Okay. Do you happen to know where it is? <laughs> this is a new account, so I'm ranked. <laughs> okay, I guess I get talked. Well, that was fun. <laughs>